I got a question about um, using Lavrel with Bootstrap Studio. Um, for anyone that doesn't know what Lavrel is, it's a PHP framework. Um, and the honest truth is I've never actually used Lavrel myself. Anyway, but it has brought us to a question about how to use PHP in Bootstrap Studio. Anyway, so this here is a form that I programmed and it works fine. Okay. So if we just upload, uh, just get onto Bootstrap Studio, create like we usually do. Um, and I've just gone online for the uh, pretty login form from Bootstrap Studio. So if you haven't got that in, uh, installed, it looks like something like this. So, <coughs> um, so it's actually very central, which is what you need with forms really. And um, so that's good. So it's all done very nicely here. And if you want to preview of this, it looks like looks like that. So that's just one login form, for example. But if we want a contact form, um, it's it's a good it's a great question. This because it's it's something that. It's not really that easy to uh, to sort out with um, Bootstrap Studio anyway. But if um, you just click on there and you see all the CSS and that, if I just and what we want to really do with this though is to go to convert to HTML, like I've said many times, and then you go to edit code. Now, in Bootstrap Studio, it's the element um, that you're actually looking at that you can edit. With PHP, though, it's different. For anyone that's never used it, you need PHP at the top of your page for it to do anything. So I'm just going to, I've got in my, uh, just in a text um, notepad, I've got a form which which is mine, which is a, uh, the one I've programmed myself and it does work. I must admit PHP is not my favorite language. I find it a real hassle. And the thing is, is that you can use the server, you can use a local server for it or a one up on online uh, for maybe your websites or whatever. Um, I find that the local uh, servers, like uh, things like WAMP are not, they don't actually uh, always tell the same story as what's going up online and I prefer the online version. Um, I'm not using the normal computer I usually do because it's uh, it's not so good at the moment. So I don't have a local server on this computer anyway. So I just go control V and this is the code that's mine uh, with the PHP. So for example, if you looked into there, you'd just say PHP with the dollar sign underscore post message. And this is part of the form. The problem lies with um, with actually getting the thing to work. So for example, now, if you just apply that, you'd see there's no CSS or there might be a little bit, but if you look at this, you're actually seeing, I'll, do, I'll put the preview on for you and that's what it looks like. So you'll probably be able to see there where it's got actually where you would put your, uh, it's very, very faint. I can't actually really see it. I think that's name. Uh, and it's got the PHP uh, name. It's got email, your message. And if you're a robot, then send the message. Um, on the forms, actually, it's got a lot more CSS. So all that's very clear. But this is what it's looking like. But as long as it's central, so you're actually seeing it, something like that which is not great but the the main problem the main issue of this is to, to how to get it actually work so the thing with it is that you would put your code above the doc type so all, almost everything in the front end um, web design would go underneath that but this actually goes above that so what you would actually have to do is with Bootstrap Studio is to export this 
and we just put it into if I've got just delete if there's any um any other stuff yeah there is so I'll just delete that and delete because I had a bit of a go at this before um and so export it to the desktop and there we go so there it is your design was exported okay right now what uh, happens is that you've got to you've got to like sort of now put your if you if you edit this with your uh with whatever editor that you want to with um i'll just do with the html kit tools which is probably my favorite um and this is what you're saying so now i'll just try to get that down okay so now this is uh the check boxes and everything like that but the php is not going to work if it doesn't have something at the top of there so what it does is um excuse my phone if you can hear that it's buzzing away um so you need this in which is the code to validate and all the rest of it okay so you just copy that and you put it above the doc type okay so pasting that this is what you would see if you didn't have that at the top it wouldn't work so we just put that save index or html if you put that up online like that it wouldn't work because it's html what you need is uh, php so you save as and we're going to do that so we'll save uh, we we'll just call it php dot php um and you need that to what files you need that to work if you just put the index it won't work um html uh dot html that won't work so if we find my server just giving me a minute okay so this again uh, i think i discussed this a few days ago about uh uploading files anyway ftp is currently locked so we want to unlock that <coughs> um this site is called dhtml rocks this is my playground for javascript apps um and put it in filezilla and this is the first time we've used filezilla on this computer for a while so um click here to show you probably cannot say that anyway okay copy just put the password in there paste and the ftp of course is dhtml just copy that ftp dot dhtml rocks okay so now we just remember passwords and now it's trying to get into the the server uh so on the right hand side here we have public uh, underscore html okay so this is what we have in this uh this folder but now we're looking for our um php let's just give me a minute i'm looking for that there you go php uh i want that and i want the assets it's called okay so find that and i want assets for assets folder okay so we've got that there okay so that's starting to upload there now um i'm not sure how many files are in the assets actually um but we'll we'll set transfer finished all files have been successfully transferred okay let's give this a go then um let's hope this works so we've got <coughs> um php dot php okay 
round and round it goes um, and there we have it okay so let's see if this works if we just send message as I said you, put, you cannot say that because there's no CSS um, send message what's it doing it really shouldn't be sending no um, but now it's supposed to in email do, 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 do. right message just anything I'm not a robot and send message okay man and I'll just see where so all that's been taken out if you can see that that's been taken out which which is all that and that okay um I'll just go into my email client and see see what's worked or if it hasn't uh, and if it hasn't oh well <laughs> come on let's slow it here there it is oh, see, okay so you see the contact message is uh, come, on. come on yeah I think you saw that anyway just go back to junk mail because it is junk it's quite right about that oh, come on when you when you're actually doing your screen screen recording I can uh, I can really so there it is, it's uh, name Nigel Bruce, email the MB man, whatever, and the message is ja ja ja, whatever. Um, so that's basically uh, what you do with PHP. So it's it's quite a tricky old um, thing to do. Uh, it's definitely a one that would be best if, if Bootstrap Studio had the whole HTML uh, document actually in, uh, in there with with that but I see their point where where they just wanting that particular element uh, sorting out so anyway I hope uh, hope you've found something there that uh, you've enjoyed uh, again I think up online is better than a local server even though a local servers are good to test things when I put that on a local server that doesn't work and I don't know why um, I've asked other people why it hasn't worked on the local server well, I've never really come out with any answers for that. So anyway, so thanks for watching and thanks for listening.